Welcome everybody to another observability clinic. We're actually putting another app spotlight on the Carbon Impact app. Klaus, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me again. Looking forward. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's been half a year. It's been half a year, but Carbon Impact, uh, it's more important than ever to really focus on the carbon impact that we are producing with our data centers where we run our software. Klaus, you said we have been here before, but things have changed. There's some updates, and we wanted just to give an update on the Carbon Impact app. Without further ado, Klaus, fill those people in that have not seen the Carbon Impact app. Why did we build it? What is it about? And how can people get started? Let's kick it off uh, right away. So the Carbon Impact uh, app itself, we released it last year at Perform. Uh, it's been adopted really, really well. We're getting to the 200,000 servers that we are covering across our customers. So what it is, it is taking data that is produced by our one agents, the CPU memory and disk metrics, to calculate carbon footprints across your monitored environment and allowing you, because of Smartscape, to slice and dice so that you can run and start optimizing. Because when you think about it, the biggest challenge with all the carbon reporting that is ongoing, as it is now mandatory for mm -hmm. all big companies, is where do I start? I get from the cloud providers my carbon footprint from my environment a month ago. Mm -hmm. Nice, but a month ago, the architecture of your environment has looked differently. Mm -hmm. So what we allow you is really in real time, see the carbon footprint woven into a smartscape to answer these challenging questions, mm -hmm. like what are the individual pieces consuming? How do they fit into the overall carbon footprint picture? And all of that without risking your uh, SLAs, mm -hmm. because no matter what you do and how much you reduce your carbon footprint, you must not uh, risk response time, throughput SLAs that you have out there. Because uh, what's worse is, uh, than, than, than producing the carbon is not having a company that uh, can rely on, on their IT. Mm -hmm. So you have to balance these uh, metrics out. And that's uh, what the Carbon Impact app helps you with doing. Cool. And that's basically on top of the data we already have anyway with our one agent by pulling in data from the cloud vendors through their API. So you basically tell me where can I start, optimize my infrastructure, my applications, obviously, as well, to reduce the carbon impact and energy costs, obviously, by still making sure that we are limiting our SLAs and SLOs. Exactly. And, yep, uh, without further ado, See it. let's uh, take a look at how can I get the app. Getting the app is pretty simple. When you sign up to any of our Dynatrace environments, mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, go to the hub. Mm -hmm. The hub is uh, dealing with all the apps that you have installed, and in my case, it automatically opened it because I was here before, but this is the start screen. This is where you have your uh, Carbon Impact app. Should you not see it right away, you can also just uh, search for it, mm -hmm. open it, and what uh, looks like the open button here for me in your case, first time, you will have to just install here. Mm -hmm. um, I click here on open. Uh, the calculation is already activated for me. If you are opening the app for the first time, it asks you, like, should I start uh, the, the calculation? And once you clicked it from that moment on, uh, the carbon data is being produced, right. allowing you to get a high level trend KPI, uh, like in this demo environment, we have a not a good trend because we are added 36 kilogram of, of carbon in the last seven days. So you have the uh, overall trend that you can look at uh, over time. So you see, am I on the right track? Am I on a bad track? Mm -hmm. It also gives you right away an overview across your data centers to see uh, where are you having the biggest uh, consumption drivers. Mm -hmm. And should you have idling hosts or scale down hosts, it also gives you here right away an entrance to start your optimization, mm -hmm. figuring those out. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, as we have none of it, uh, we just uh, take a look at the hosts mm -hmm. because that's the beauty of Dynatrace. It doesn't stop you just on the host level. Mm -hmm. It allows you to go deeper. 
I mean, think about it. We have here one that is consuming most of the energy, our data center here in, in, in Gdansk, where we have this particular host running. Now we can dive into it. And we have all the capabilities of Dynatrace at hand mm -hmm. because we can just go down and say like, hey, what are the top CPU consuming processes mm -hmm. on this particular host? Uh, this is a demo environment. That's why first two are all about uh, the headless uh, and the the um, yeah the, the Chrome uh, container that is producing uh, traffic here. But we also have here real application uh, processes that we can dive into, as you know from other uh, observability clinics with the ability to drill into the whole, into the process, into the software service, talking to the right people, you can do actually green coding. Mm -hmm. And this is the beauty of Dynatrace and of the Carbon Impact app. It brings a new dimension, a new KPI that you can optimize your system for into the mix without any barriers between operations and development and into line of business where sustainability is the biggest topic at the moment. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. And, and just looking at this, you said this is a demo environment, but still sometimes people leave processes running. Maybe they, they forgot about it. And we can see here, uh, there's processes that are consuming two gigabytes of memory and 20% of CPU. Maybe somebody forgot it and therefore it's a great indication. Mm -hmm. Now, Klaus, this is a great, a nice step-by-step -step flow from the hub, installing the app, enabling the calculation, getting recommendations. I know it's a demo app or a demo environment, but do you have... Like something sure. real as well? Sure, uh, something real. This is Dynatrace uh, on Dynatrace. This is how we're using the Carbon Impact app. And we actually had a better a better week. Uh, we could reduce by 600 kilograms mm -hmm. uh, the footprint lately. And you can see we have here 74 hosts idly. Mm -hmm. But you always have, we spoke about SLAs. Think about it. Dynatrace has synthetic monitoring out there. In very remote locations, we are running these synthetic nodes, and there need, needs to be at least three instances per location mm -hmm. so that we can meet our SLAs. Mm -hmm. And when I went uh, to our operations team, I asked them, like, hey, can we shut this host down? And it, like, immediately told me, like, no, we can't. Mm -hmm. Those are there for SLAs, and... Mm -hmm. We have to have them running. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about Dynatrace is everything happens in context and at scale. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is with this story, because I know you told me about it, because you could have gone off and said, I'm just shutting down all these hosts. But because we know who owns these particular hosts, we have ownership information, you could actually go to the owners of these teams and say, hey, there's a potential to save. What do you think? And then they say, well, maybe, no, it's not possible because it's needed. But some of these hosts may be, may be candidate. This is really cool. Uh, all this happens automatically just because Dynatrace already monitors your memory, your CPU, your utilization, and then we're calculating on top of this the CO2 uh, consumption, the energy. And, and I think in your slides earlier, you also said we're working together with the Sustainability Group. Uh, Sustainable Digital Infrastructure Alliance is the group that we are working together with to standardize, and uh, hopefully there will be in the future a standard coming Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, allows then everybody to report even on these data. Mm -hmm. And for those who want to know more, there is another uh, observability clinic where the two of us are diving deeper into the topic and uh, show a little bit more of what else uh, you can do and how you can customize it to your own uh, needs. Perfect. Thank you so much, Klaus. So folks, uh, go to the hub, install the Carbon Impact app, enable the calculation, and then uh, work with the data. And if you want to learn more, check out the other videos that we have out there for you. Thank you, Klaus. Thank you.